question 1.9 says the current through an element is shown in figure and determine the total charge that passes through the current at 1, 3, and 5 seconds. Okay, so I won't spend the tremendous amount of time and draw a pretty graph, so I'll draw a simplified version. Okay, 1, 2, 4, and 5. Okay, well actually I'll just work on the original graph if that's, a, that's better. Alright, use the orange. So, what is the current? Current is the dq of t dt, right? The amount of charge passed through at one sec, uh, one specific point in a wire per second, right? They give us current. Okay, so now we have current, a graphical current, right? Against the time graph. So what we do is, okay, it dt d of qt. Well, in that case, we take the integral uh, from time of 1 equals time of 2. That should give us uh, q of t, right, in the end, which is charge. Fantastic. Now, we want to find the charge, the total charge passed through the element at one, uh, uh, three different seconds. Now, we can, find, we can find the equation of the graph, uh, at different interval, different sections, right? So like from 0 to 1, the graph is uh, 10, horizontal line. Over here, that is a rise over, I mean, B1, negative 5. Uh, I mean, wait, negative 5, T, and then it's going to reach um, the uh, Y intersection at 15, right? And then the next one, it's another uh, 5, and then the, you know, we can do that. Uh, but it, it's a waste of time, right? Uh, if you are under an exam pressure, I think uh, you should use the easier way, uh, the shortcut, which is like, you know, when you're giving a graph, uh, which is uh, with straight lines, linear graphs, then try not to use a calculus, right? It's, it just saves you a lot of time. Because what is calculus trying to do? Find the area under the graph, right? That is what it's doing. And I am sure every single one of us as an engineer, we can find the area under those graphs. Uh, that's uh, shown in the figures over here, right? That are divided in one, two, three, and four. So, okay, at one, which is area one, right? And what is that? It is 10, the height is 10, the length is one, 10 times one, boom, done, right? That is one, 10 charge. B, at three seconds, okay. So we need to do a little extra one. A little extra work. So remember the 10 charge, that's from section A. And section 2 is uh, you can divide the graph into this, right? This shape, so a rectangle and a, um, and a uh, triangle. So this is the length of the triangle is 5 times, and the width is 1 divided by 2, plus uh, 5 over 2, right? And then we have to plus another uh, rectangle over here. Right, because this is two, this is one, this is three seconds. Right, so then this area is what? It is five times one, right? Plus five times one. Fantastic. Okay. Wait, why did. This is, yeah, five times two. Uh, five times one. Okay, and then this is the, for B, right? This is all the area uh, that, that there is until three, uh, three seconds. So what is that? 10, 20, 2.5, so 22.5 coulombs, right? And then B, and then sorry, and then C, so which is 5, uh, 22.5 C plus the last bit, which is 5 times 1 over 2, uh, which is another 2.5, which is going to give you 25 coulombs. All right. So, and also just... Uh, Instead of just telling you guys, okay, time, you know, find the area of the graph, uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's important to understand the conceptual uh, side of it, right? So why do we say 10 times 1? Uh, it's because 10 is current, 10 charges per time, and we have one second, a uh, change of time, which is one second, and it's constant, right? We know it's constant because it's, you know, at this point, if you're an engineer, your master will be able to find it. And then, so it just happened, the area under the graph, uh, it gives us the total charge, right? 
not the other way around. So mathematically, there's many shortcuts to help us, but it's important to understand why these shortcuts exist instead of just, uh, you know, abuse them. And then, you know, in the future, when you go to work, like they're going to ask you and you're like, oh, I can't explain. Well, then yeah, it's going to be some problems. All right. So, yeah, hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.